It's this time of year, right? That time of year. So many making New Year's resolutions and then so many of us breaking those New Year's resolutions before even January is over, right? So here's the question. Are resolutions about maybe your physical health, want to lose weight, good for your mental health? Well, experts have several suggestions to make your resolutions less intimidating and easier to actually achieve. First, Break your big goals up into small goals and small parts. Don't try to do everything at once. You're not going to lose 10 pounds in three days. Try visualizing yourself completing your goal at some point in the day. Experts tell us that you can set a foundation that will help you be consistent. It is the habit, right, that really gets you through, not the emotion. And finally, be specific in what you need from an accountability partner. Do you need them to check in on you multiple times a day? Maybe text you, say, hey... What are you eating? <laughs> I'm just making that up. I don't know. I need someone like that. Whatever you decide, make sure it encourages you to get to that end goal. If we find ourselves becoming frustrated, you know, we're emotionally, you know, we're, we're, we're disappointed in ourselves and we feel like we're failures, that's going to that's gonna tend to make us give that particular behavior and goal up. So we really do need to focus on narrowing down those goals so we can be successful. Now, remember, it's about habits, not the emotion. Emotion will leave right away. Experts say that sometimes it might be best to try to make resolutions at a different time if they affect your mental health in a negative way. And again, Lori, if you could text me, tell me not to have that dessert, I would really appreciate it. Hey, you're the one who motivates me. Oh. Are you kidding? <laughs>